Turn your eyes, O God, our shield, and look on the face of your anointed one. One day within your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Today we celebrate this Tuesday of the 20th week of Ordinary Time, a Mass that celebrated for the intention of the eternal rest of members of the Ali and Christina Demel family. And as we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we call to mind our sins and ask God and our brothers and sisters for pardon. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have prepared for those who love you good things which no, eye can, which no eye can see, fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love, so that loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promises, which surpass every human desire. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, say to the prince of Tyre, thus says the Lord God. Because you're haughty of heart, you say, I God am I. I occupy a godly throne in the heart of the sea. And yet you are a man and not a God. However, you may think yourself like a god. Oh yes, you are wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that is beyond you. By your wisdom and your intelligence, you have made riches for yourself. You have put gold and silver into your treasuries. But your great wisdom applied to your trading, you have heaped up your riches. Your heart has grown haughty from your riches. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, because you have thought yourself to have the mind of a god. Therefore, I will bring against you foreigners and the most barbarous of nations. They shall draw their swords against your beauteous wisdom. They shall run them through your splendid apparel. They shall thrust you down to the pit, and there you die, a bloodied corpse in the heart of the sea. Will you say then, I am a god, when you face your murderers? No, you are a man, not a god. You hand it over to those who will slay you. You shall die the death of the uncircumcised at the hand of the foreigners, for I have spoken, says the Lord God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It is I who deal death and give life. It, it is, is I, I who deal death, death and give, give life. life. I would have said I will make an end of them and blot out their name from the men's memories had I not offered the insolence of their enemies, feared those would mistakenly boast. It is, it is I, I who, who deal death, death and, and give life. life. Our own hand won the victory. The Lord had nothing to do with it. For they are people devoid of reason, having no understanding. It is I who deal death and give life. How could one man rout a thousand or two men put 10,000 to flight unless it was because of their rock, sold them and the Lord delivered them up? It is I who deal death and give life. Close at hand is the day of their disaster and their doom is rushing upon them. Surely the Lord shall do justice for his people, and his servants he shall have pity. 
It is I who deal death and give life. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Jesus Christ became poor, although he was rich, so that by his poverty you might become rich. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, I say to you, it will be hard for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of heaven. Again, I say to you, it is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. When the disciples heard this, they were greatly astonished and said, Who then can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, For men this is impossible, but for God all things are possible. Then Peter said, in his, then Peter said to him in reply, We have given up everything and followed you. What will there be for us? Jesus said to them, Amen, I say to you, that you who have followed me in the new age, when the Son of Man is seated on his throne of glory, will yourselves sit on twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And everyone who has given up houses or brothers or sisters or father or mother or children or lands for the sake of my name will receive a hundred times more and will inherit eternal life. But many who are first will be last, and the last will be first. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. This week we will march through Ezekiel as our first reading, also through the Gospel of Matthew, uh, for uh, we will continue on there. Uh, the two readings uh, concur. They have uh, similar themes, and, and that is uh, avoid the seeking of uh, power and trappings of power and self-exaltation. Uh, our reading today in our Gospel uh, this occurs in the section of the uh, discourse on the church, on the unity and the, the formation of the church. That's Matthew chapter 18 and onward. We're in chapter 19 here about in the middle of that. Uh, and here we, Matthew, puts together an eclectic uh, uh, bunch of, uh, uh, of sayings uh, to apply to the disciples. Uh, uh, avoid riches. It's easier to pass a camel to pass through an eye of a needle than a rich to enter the kingdom of God. Uh, uh, who can be saved? With God, all things are possible. Uh, and uh, then he assures them that you will receive your reward for being faithful to my name, but in the life that is to come, when the Son of Man is seated on the, on the throne of glory. <laughs> a big uh, caveat there. Which is not to say that the followers of Jesus are not blessed in this life, uh, even materially, but the primary blessing is not material things uh, in establishing the kingdom of God here on earth that leads to, to heaven. And he says everyone who, anyone who has given up houses or brothers or sisters or father or mother uh, for the sake of my name will receive a hundred times more and will inherit eternal life. And then he adds, many who are last will be first, and the first shall be last. Kind of a standard Christian uh, saying. Our first reading today is Ezekiel. Ezekiel lines them up and he mows them down. Today he's mowing down the king of Tyre. And he, because you are haughty of heart and say, a god am I, I occupy a godly throne in the heart of the sea. Tyre was a very important trading po uh, post uh, along the Mediterranean. Uh, uh, he says that he will be subject to the, I will bring foreigners, the most barbarous of nations, and they will draw their swords against your beauteous wisdom, and they shall run you through your splendid peril, apparel. Uh, and a very sad thing. But isn't it worth reflecting upon that uh, even today we see this very much, that people wish to associate themselves with power in order to gain money? 
It's true. I mean, we can see how many go to the centers of governance, whether it be Washington, D.C., or a local state capital, and wouldn't you know that public servant who is getting by on perhaps what would be a white uh, class, uh, uh, white collar, uh, rather, uh, uh, wage, uh, they all of a sudden have hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars in assets as they leave a public office that they've off uh, occupied for uh, a half a decade or a decade or even more two decades. You see congressmen and congresswomen uh, retiring with millions in their portfolio and you wonder how can this be? Obviously there is a widespread abuse of power. Uh, obviously there are those who are take advantage of the system. We remind us of Psalm 73. They wear their pride as a vestment. Violence is around their necks, their collar around their neck. And this is, this is so true. So let us avoid being the, the, the people who grub for power, who, who, who lust for authority and power over others, and be Christians who are, who are, who are satisfied with their place in life, who bloom where they're planted, who help, and will, in turn, receive help when they need it. Let us be simple followers. Amen. My brothers and sisters, let us please stand and bring our knees before God's altar. We pray for Pope Francis. May God give him strength as he shares Christ's message with the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the salvation of the world. May God, may the love of God through the witness of the church touch every heart on earth. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have suffered trials of any kind because of global pandemic. May our Lord grant them relief and consolation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for Christians who suffer adversely because of their faith and seeking to follow our way, the way of our Lord Jesus Christ. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord we also pray for those among us who, who suffer illness and debility. We ask that God strengthen them and be their hope. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For our own needs that we give to God in silence. For these we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have died. For these we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O God, we put our trust in you. Hear us and grant us what we need according to your will through Christ our Lord. Amen. We may be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you, as without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Benedict, our Pope Emeritus, Carl, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen, asl who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, and that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with you.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Our communion antiphon. With the Lord there is mercy, in him is plentiful redemption. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. 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 The body of Christ.
Let us pray. Made partakers of Christ through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that conformed to his image on earth, we may merit also to be his co-heirs in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Announcements. Thursday, we will have 6.30 p.m. Spanish Mass. This is uh, uh, a Mass that has been scheduled for the third Thursday, uh, so uh, we'll have it yet in August. Uh, September, it is, it is unknown. So, but Thursday, for us most immediately, Thursday, 6.30 p.m. Spanish Mass on that day. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Holy Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout the world, seeking the ruins of souls. Amen.